This is what you came for. See that? X10 lamp module. Okay? It works with smart things. Uh, works with Echo. Works with Google Home. Okay? Why? Because you probably have some of these laying around if you've been in automation for a long time. Why else would you want these or to know about these? Because you've got those little lamps and things, okay, in your girl's room or, or the closet or, you know, you got little lights that you really don't care about. You don't want to spend $30 a switch. Well, let's just look on eBay because I've got that pulled up here on my other screen and I can get these puppies for $8.99 shipped, okay? I get like three of these things for less than one Z-Wave, okay? I love Z-Wave. I've got tons of Z-Wave in the house. This is for my less important switches okay so i'm gonna plug this in here we go this is called ow in my knee oh ah! okay no time to add it we're just gonna keep moving forward all right so let's pull up our um smart things let's go back out here to our home and find the girls room lamp Okay, I already had it on when I unplugged it. So let's just get it synced up right. All right, turn it back on. There we go, boom, it works. And boom, it goes off. And boom, it goes off. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you how this works with your Echo. So either mute me right now until that light goes on and then off again, or just deal with what it's gonna do when I say her name. In three, two, one. Alexa. Girls room lamp on. Okay. Oh, it kind of looked like I clicked that. Alexa, turn girls room lamp off. Okay. Boom. It works. Okay. Little trick here with this. When you're doing X10 stuff, since it's a little delayed, you're going to want to, when we build these things out, you're going to want to give it time. If you're throwing 25 switches that are X10, you better put like a three second delay in between them. I'm going to show you how to do that. So okay, first things first, how are you going to get this done? Well, you're going to go to a website and you're going to go to trigger, triggercmd.com. There'll be links down below. Hit the dang subscribe button while you're down there and uh, install this thing. Plenty of things on the form to show you how to do it. Once you do, you'll have this little server thing running on here. We're going to get to that in a second. Okay, pause the video, install Trigger CMD, get it working on your computer, your Raspberry Pi, or your Mac. Okay, all right. Welcome back if you paused your computer. Second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install X10 Commander. Also, link down below mellowware.com. If you watch my other video and you already got this installed, we'll get, get right to it. Uh, I have Windows, so I installed the software development kit drivers and I install, installed this X10 Commander server, okay, which started this thing. I got this thing running. I'll show you mine. You can kind of see my settings. Hopefully that helps. Move my face. Okay. Once you got X10 Commander running, everything, there's Plenty of install videos there. Um, you're going to want to install the last thing, in which is uh, on this website called Confused by Code. It's CURL. And if you scroll down here, CURL for Windows. Okay. You're going to download this one if you're on Windows. Anyways, what this does is this uh, runs the, and if you, if you got a Mac, it might be a little different. But this is going to run. Um, it's going to run these commands through. Okay, you need it. Put it on, piece of cake, get it running. I have a video that shows exactly how to do that. So, all right. Now you got all three of those things installed. That's where we're going to start from here. We go down here to our taskbar, and now that's running. Eh, right click it, and I'm going to put GUI command editor. I go here, I'm going to make that big, and I'm going to, I've already got this one made. I can just add a command here. This is kind of what it looks like. It's blank. And I'm going to show you kind of what we change here. So for this scenario, for X10, I tiled it girls room lamp. And I have a bat file that it's running. This is the command it's running in the background. And anyway, so I leave foreground the same. 
this is the voice command that the echo understood and I want to allow parameters because actually whether the switch is on I tell it to turn on or turn off it's going to run something different in this what's called a script a bat file you don't even need to know what it is you just need to know how to copy and paste so this is pretty pretty simple a lot simpler than you think so I have a bunch of these made so we're gonna open up um, and show you where all my scripts are made I just made some folders now each one of these folders I had to put into path okay and I actually have should have a link below I'll do that to uh, show you how to put these into path it's pretty simple to put these into path basically saying that um, I don't want to have to put the entire location of the file every time I'm here. So like I'd have to put like C drive, this folder, this folder, this folder. I can just type in the file and it's gonna find it. As long as that file is in a folder that's in the path, the, I guess it's the main pathway. So all these were set up in the path. You have to set up each individual folder that way or you can put everything in one folder. Uh, these are my X10 light and switches. So we're gonna go down here, the girls room lamp, uh, I even, titled it with the command the, with the code so this is a8 it's on house code a and 8 the x10 users will understand that um, and let's just look at it let's edit it so basically all you have to do is open up notepad whatever you just type in notepad every flipping windows has it and you can just make one of these you can copy and paste this which will be stuff in the description as well and um, if you did that and you just change the A8 to A10 or whatever, A9 or A whatever, you could use this thing and it's it's going to work like a champ. Copy, paste. And when you go file, save as, you're just going to want to save as not .text but .bat. And that works. Okay? So that's the only thing it's doing. It's telling it to turn on or telling it to turn off. Pretty sweet, huh? And that's exactly how you type it. One thing that's different, if anybody's tried to do this, uh, when you put this in... If I do this as a normal command by a standalone, like where I don't have on and off option with a switch, I just have it run a command because this is like if this and there, or if that. I had to put extra percent signs that Russ over at Trigger Command helped me do figure this out, but I had to put an extra percent sign so they're doubled up on the percent signs. Some of this stuff, just so you guys kind of know what that is, uh, this percent percent 22, I believe that's just a space in command line. And I think the 22, 22 may be quotations. Yeah, I know somebody's screaming at the screen. That might be like quotation mark, but it's the way you, it's, you know, like one of these over here. Okay, so I have a whole video on that. So subscribe to the channel. Okay, there you go. That's what it's telling it to do. And um, you got that moved into path. We uh, created a trigger. We have a bat, a bat file. We can even test that here. The cool thing is, is, when you um, create some of this stuff, you can actually, you'll actually know fairly quickly if it's working. And you can find the breakdown of it. So, um, watch, you know, a comment below if you have any questions. I'm pretty on top of this, and I, and I kind of watch it pretty good. So, I'm going to show you, let's see how much time I've been in this. Am I, am I, I'm under 10 minutes. So, I'm going to show you a couple bonus things of what else I did with this. So, if you want to know some other things you haven't seen in the other videos a couple of things I did with this pretty much if it's a program on my computer I can control it and um, I can create tons of different scenarios and customize it a whole lot so a couple of things I did is I have a six zone speaker system which I have another video it's called the mono price mono amp whatever and I've got this nice little software here that uh, controls all the amplifier and stuff so this is the different zones of my house I can set up alarm systems I can you know, so the, I even have speakers outside, you know, my outside speakers. I can just tell it to crank it up. I can set one of these things and it will change it. Let me make this a little smaller here so you can kind of watch this uh, change. But if I turn this off and then I come down here and I go uh, Z stereo uh, night chill. Okay, it's going to, I'll just run it from here. I can run it. This is also in my other one. But did you see a watch? It changed all those things. It changed the volumes. Um, I can change this one to like sleep mode that turns on just the master bedroom and it actually and I've got another one up here that starts uh, Spotify white noise playlist or I've actually got a uh, file saved on my computer which I'll show you kind of how that looks 
So th I've got this one in here. It's just an MP3. It's like 10 hours of just space, uh, spaceship sound, like, and I can just, it just plays it uh, anytime I activate that. This one didn't uh, have parameters because it just plays an MP3. I, again, I put this MP3 in one of the folders that was in the past. So I didn't have to type in the location or anything. Um, the reason I titled this Z white noise, whatever, because I, when I have this in smart things, these are just a couple tips, bonus tips. Uh, you know, I've got all my light switches up here. Well, I got all this other stuff down here. So when I go, you know, um, white noise, space odyssey, it's all alphabetical order. And I can just click, you know, this on and it, it will actually play the, you know, when I toggle that on, you're probably going to hear that. It plays it. Okay. It just files that, uh, fires that up. And, um, but it's kind of cool because I can control a ton of stuff in here with my different scenes. I'm going to go real quickly through here, but just to give you a little sample of what you can do, let's go for the night sleep sounds. Again, this is bonus. Um, this is for the stereo, and I I can edit this here. This is what it turns on. So I can... I can task kill something. This is how I kill the, the phone because I have an internet phone coming through here. I can also kill Spotify so it doesn't, you know, start playing because it's just an MP3 on my computer. So it kind of quiets everything down here. I can turn down my volume. I can do anything on my computer that I can find a command line to. And you see these little timeouts? That's just pauses, okay? So it's like a half a second pause, 0.5. Anyhow. Kind of some cool samples. I, I really would like to see some of this stuff. I would have loved it if somebody would have shown me what they were doing. Um, so, eh, I think that's about it. I wanted to show you a little bit how, I mean, with Spotify, I can show you how that looks. And I can put some sample code down there. So if you want to start a playlist, let's go to edit here. And this little playlist here, this is the actual code for it. And this is the, this is the code, the command line codes to get, it to work okay so anyhow that's it I am going to end it here and uh, let me show you how to find that that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to find that so Spotify let's run this bad boy let's go Spotify you guys can tune out if you're not interested in this but let's go Spotify let's do this exercise playlist okay now what this will do is I've got the command in there to tell it to um, start up Spotify. And it just did it on my other screen, okay? And it's going to start it up. And there you go. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that's a Sunday so Okay, so there we go. Exercise playlist. It starts up. And um, pretty cool. So what that looks like is... oh. We're, we're going to show you how to do that. You go to your playlist over here. And if I want to go to like Discover Weekly, I just go Share and I go Copy Spotify U, URI. Okay. And then once I've got that, let's, let's get back to my editor thing here. I have too many things going here. I can, I can literally just, I'll show you what that looks like. I just right click, paste. So if you use my code, or somebody else's code I copied and paste, you just copy paste that right in between the quotations. And that'll start your playlist. One of the tricks I have to do with this Spotify, it's a little touchy. As long as I have this, uh, you know, when I was last doing it, I was playing a playlist, okay? And I'm right there, it will actually shift the playlist pretty easy. But for some reason, it will start up the old playlist. It's a little, if somebody's got better code for that, comment in below. Uh, but there you go. Just a few things, uh, kind of fun things I want to show you that we could do. Hopefully that you enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, and uh, share so that we can all get uh, something more out of this. I appreciate all like 10 of my fans. And uh, going for number 11 or 12, when you hit subscribe. All right, the end.